My name is Dr. Zenas Yu, and I am an NIHR clinical lecturer in dermatology at the University of Manchester. I'm the lead author on this study, using a standardization approach to compare outcomes between a clinical trial and real-world populations of patients with psoriasis that was published in the British Journal of Dermatology. Why did we do this study? Both dermatologists and patients with psoriasis base their treatment decisions on evidence from randomised controlled trials. However, patients who are willing to participate in trials are selected for enrolment based on the select criteria for inclusion and exclusion. And therefore, the trial patient group may not be fully representative of the real world population. It is not entirely clear how this may influence the interpretability of clinical trial results for patients with psoriasis in the clinic. We therefore wanted to ask the question, would there be any change in the effectiveness and safety outcomes of biologic therapies for psoriasis if all patients were from a trial population rather than from a real world clinic setting? How did we do it? We used data from the British Association of Dermatologists Biologic Interventions Register or BADVIR. This is a national registry of patients with psoriasis in the United Kingdom and the Republic of Ireland that was set up to investigate the long-term safety of biologic therapies. We combined this data with the individual participant data from two large randomized controlled trials that investigated ustekinumab in patients with psoriasis. We investigated whether there was a difference between the baseline characteristics of the patients included in the trial against the patients recruited in bad beer. We then standardized the group of patients in bad beer to the group of patients from the trial so that the distribution in the baseline characteristics were the same. In other words, the bad beer population were made to look like the trial population. We then compared the outcomes of proportion of patients with psoriasis area and severity index or PASI below 1.5 after six months of biologic therapy and the incidence of rate of serious adverse events in the first year of biologic therapy in the bad beer population before and after standardization. What were our main findings? We found 6,790 participants from bad beer and 2,021 trial participants. A multivariable logistic regression model, including the patient baseline characteristics, with the dependent variable of being in a trial, found a C statistic of 0.82, indicating that there were major differences between the trial and bad beer populations. We calculated a risk difference for PASI below 1.5 of 0.95%, with a 95% confidence interval between negative 1.98 to 4.15%. And for incidents of serious adverse events, a risk difference of 9.27 per thousand person years, with a 95% confidence interval between a negative 3.91 to 22.5. So why is this study relevant to dermatologists and their patients treated with biologic therapies? This study confirms that the fact that the trials of biologic therapies in psoriasis are not fully representative of a real world population. However, this difference in patient characteristics is not enough to account for any difference seen in the outcome obtained in trials and outcomes obtained in the clinic.